Well, hello. Today we're going to talk about Ghostbusters. It's the new movie that is out, and I saw it twice. I saw it twice, so I can tell you what I think about it. So, Ghostbusters, the first one, it made so far two hundred and forty million dollars. That's how much it made. The second Ghostbusters it made one hundred and twelve million dollars. That's how much that made. Isn't that crazy? Now you think to yourself that this new movie, this new Ghostbusters, forty-six million dollars was estimated opening weekend. Do you think that this little movie is going to help these other movies that people have seen from the past? I think it will. I think that younger generations are going to look back and they're going to see all the previous generations. I think that's what's going to happen. <laughs> but um, that was my Scottish accent uh, a little bit. But we're gonna, let's let's get serious. Let's get serious. So Ghostbusters, uh, it made estimated forty six million dollars. It came into the picture with some backlash. People being like, oh, "It's women." What? I don't like that. So, <laughs> but the people. The love showed up, you know, the love showed up, just like it did on the Facebook. When you saw on the Facebook, you saw that the numbers were there. That literally love doubled the angries. So, <laughs> so it doubled not just the angries, but the angries and the funnies and all the other ones, all those like random ones. It doubled all of those. So that kudos to, to the people that showed up and gave their love. I actually, when I went to go see it, it was sold out. So I had to wait. And, and I ended up having to see it in 3D, which was a much better experience. I saw it twice. I saw it uh, the first time at a particular theater that is kind of pricey, uh, and uh, but it was a gift, so that was really nice. Uh, so and then I saw it in the second theater, which was remarkably less pricey. Edwards and Regency. Who knew? Like what? I was I discovered a whole new pricing system for movies. Regency and the. <laughs> If you don't know about that, well, I knew about Regency, but I didn't know about Edwards. Oh, I think that might be the same company. I don't know. So, but $46 million estimated. I think it brought it, and I think that we're going to see that it might have even brought it a little bit more. I don't know. We'll find out. So, uh, will it get a sequel? It said, Paul Feig said that it needed to get $50 million in order to get a sequel. And even though it, the estimations were iffy, it still got the sequel. So it still got the sequel. You know who I th and who I think made the best video about what we want to see in a sequel is Grace Randolph. I'm including a link to her video. Love Grace Randolph. Love her. Love movie math. Love Beyond the Trailer. Uh, so I'm including a link to her particular video. Uh, where? What's happening here? Just some, I'm gonna go through pros and cons. Just in a moment in there. Con the script science jargon. The first time I saw it, I felt a little lost. The second time I saw it, I felt more connected. So what Paul Feig has done is he has created a movie that is enjoyable enough to want to see it again and again and again and again. So kudos to Paul Feig. I think that that's basically what he did. The movie is an A minus. <laughs> it's not an A. It's not an A plus. It's an A minus. But it's an A minus is pretty good. So it's still. <laughs> You know, it's still, it's still an A line, it's still an A. So, um, the weapon scene, the weapon scene was out of control, like, just innovative, new, fresh, smart, clever, just really, like, wow. You can tell that Paul Feig had fun with this one, um, and that everybody had fun with this one. Uh, then we've got the, okay, so there were moments where, hey, I'm going to tell you a joke. And then it kind of threw me off from the movie. So I don't know whether that came from improv or what. It happened. And there were some jokes that just didn't land. And I knew that they were trying to go for jokes. It's just... Or maybe that's the whole reveal thing of the second time around. I don't know. That that's what's the beautiful element of watching this movie over and over again. Because it got me... I The first time I saw it, regular D. second time I saw it, 
the 3D. And I definitely recommend 3D. The 3D was so beautifully woven in there, and it had those definitely moments, those ride moments. So I felt like I was in a ride. And I wasn't even aware that I was in a ride. So I felt that I was living within that particular reality. It was kind of fun. <laughs> Whoa, 3D, this is cool. So, uh, cameos, fight scenes, innovative. The fight scenes between Melissa McCarthy and Leslie Jones and Kate McKinnon. It was just a beautiful dance. That was just amazing, amazing, amazing stuff. Like, I just want to, I kind of want to go see it again right now. <laughs> like, I wish it was out on DVD already. Um, I had a great time. I really did. Uh, uh, so, okay, what else? Uh, I'm going to tell you a joke. Fight scenes and it was like cameos. Really great cameos, guys. Everybody, everybody. And yeah, I say guys, okay, ladies, everybody. Uh, fathers talking taking his young sons to the movie. So there was a father taking his young sons to the movie, and I thought about the hatred that the movie has received from some people. And it's so beautiful because you know that these kids are going to go back and they're going to watch the cartoons and they're going to watch the old movies and they're going to see and they're going to be like, and, and some of the kids had already seen the movies. So it was just really a beautiful moment of parents sharing with their kids and younger generations. And so when I think about the Ghostbusters 1 that made $240 million to date and Ghostbusters 2 that made $112 million to date and you see these the cameos of the celebrities from these particular movies because they're enjoying in the joy of this new friend, almost like they're giving their blessing and saying, hey, kudos to you. Uh, I'm going to make another video about why these reboots are okay and why they're important to do re these reboots. Uh, and I'll let you know why. And Marvel has definitely touched up on it, but it's an evolution of our society. So this movie is is really opening the doorways towards that because it's it flips it from men to women, and it shows you what women can do, and, this, and, and they're utilizing science to take on the supernatural. So that's really something that um, you know some people have have questioned and underst and understood, and that magic is not magic; it's just science. And so Doctor Strange is tapping into that element. And the how, how we grew up and how we understood how we've grown up and evolved as individuals and transformed. So uh, Regency Theaters, great stuff. Grace Randolph, love her. Uh, she's who got me excited about the Ghostbusters movie and what was happening with it. And that's it. That's it. That's all I want to say. So thank you for watching. And I want to wish you a wonderful year. Uh, feel free to subscribe and feel free to like. Uh, and let's do some little post words that just pop it out to my head. The reason why I was so excited about this movie was because of its social implications, because of what it would do for society, and because I thought, I think about young girls and young boys who look, you know, and, and grow and evolve, and they see these women being able to do these things so it raises the bar and it raises the standard for our sense of inspiration and our sense of growth so Paul Feig and everybody involved in this movie it's just really beautiful stuff really beautiful stuff thank you and I wish you a wonderful wonderful year Zoe is scratching at the door I'm gonna let her in take care